Tonight, we're looking into posts being spread on social media. They claim the James Webb Space Telescope spotted a large object about 10 light years away moving toward Earth. Coincidences often defy the label of mere chance. Picture a game of pool. The balls are set in a tight triangle and the player takes a shot. The cue ball strikes, scattering the others across the table. But then, something incredible happens, one by one. Against all odds, every ball funnels into the same corner pocket. What would you think in that moment? A rare fluke? Unbelievable skill? Or would you suspect something unseen? Perhaps a tilted table? In our universe, some events are so improbable that they challenge reason. Imagine, for instance, a massive object hurtling into our solar system. Its gravity tugs on a planet, flinging it out of orbit into interstellar space. Now imagine it doesn't stop there, but sends two planets flying off together, aligned so perfectly that they begin orbiting one another as they drift into the void. It sounds impossible, yet improbability doesn't always mean impossibility. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has recently uncovered something astonishing in the Orion Nebula. Amid the vast stretches of interstellar space, where stars are born, it found two such rogue planets locked in a binary orbit. Each has a mass comparable to Jupiter, earning the nickname Jupiter Mass Binary Objects, or Jumbios. But here's the twist. JWST didn't find just one pair. It found 40 Jumbios, making up nearly 10% of all the free-floating planets detected in the nebula. This isn't just unlikely, it's puzzling enough to make scientists wonder if we're missing something fundamental about how the universe operates. It's as though the cosmic table legs might need a closer inspection. What's certain is that our models of star and planet formation need revision. But how? That remains a mystery. Jumbos were first observed in October 2023, when JWST's advanced instruments captured high-resolution images of the Orion Nebula. Though they may exist elsewhere, They've been notoriously difficult to detect until now. Their relatively small size and the challenges of current detection methods, such as gravitational microlensing, have kept them hidden. Gravitational microlensing, which involves observing the brief brightening of a star as an object passes in front of it, is itself an improbable phenomenon. Albert Einstein predicted it but doubted it could ever be observed. Advances in technology have since proven otherwise, yet it remains a hit-or-miss method. It took the incredible sensitivity of JWST to identify Jumbios with certainty. These newfound planets are young, just about a million years old compared to Earth's 4.5 billion years. But their behavior is what truly baffles astronomers. Unlike other rogue planets that wander aimlessly or orbit a nearby star, Jumbos orbit each other, separated by about 200 astronomical units, AU. 200 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. This discovery is as perplexing as it is exciting. Jumbos challenge our understanding of planetary formation, dynamics, and the very nature of the cosmos. It seems the universe still holds plenty of surprises, and with each revelation, our perspective expands. Who knows what other marvels are waiting to be discovered? Binary systems are not unusual in our galaxy. In fact, they're quite common, particularly among stars. Roughly one-third of all stars in the Milky Way exist in binary or higher-order systems, where two or more stars orbit a common center of gravity. However, the likelihood of such configurations decreases as the size of the object gets smaller. For example, around 75% of massive stars are in binary systems. About 50% of stars similar in size to our Sun have a binary companion. For smaller stars, the probability drops to 25%. But when it comes to objects smaller than a brown dwarf, those that lack the mass to sustain hydrogen fusion and are only 15 to 75 times the size of Jupiter, binary configurations are virtually unheard of. In theory, they should be impossible. There's no known mechanism that would explain why such objects would pair up. Yet, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has overturned that assumption. When it surveyed the Orion Nebula, it discovered 540 planetary mass objects smaller than brown dwarfs. Astonishingly, 9% of these were binary pairs, and two even formed a triplet system. This defies existing models of planetary formation and rubs the laws of probability the wrong way. The frequency of these Jupiter mass binary objects, Jumbios, 
is particularly perplexing. At 9%, the occurrence rate is far too high to be dismissed as a fluke. It has forced scientists to reconsider how planets and similar objects form. There are two primary theories for how jumbos might come into existence, but neither fits the data well. Planetary systems, especially in their early stages, are chaotic places. Picture a young Earth surrounded by molten rock, comets, and other space debris colliding and coalescing. Over time, dust gathers into rocks, rocks into asteroids, and eventually into fully-fledged planets. But not all objects survive this process. Gravity can fling some material out of the system entirely, turning them into rogue planets. Even massive planets are vulnerable to ejection under the right conditions. Some scientists theorize that our solar system may have once had an additional gas giant, which was expelled by the gravitational influence of Jupiter, or possibly Saturn. If true, it's a testament to the turbulent nature of planetary systems. This ejection mechanism could explain the abundance of rogue planets, which are thought to number in the billions or even trillions throughout the galaxy. But it doesn't explain the 9% of Jumbo's forming binaries. The odds of two rogue planets being ejected together, at the same speed and trajectory, and then capturing each other gravitationally, are vanishingly small. The second theory posits that Jumbo's could form directly in interstellar space, much like stars. When a star forms, gravity pulls gas and dust together until the mass ignites nuclear fusion. In the chaotic environment of a nebula, where supernovae and solar winds scatter material, smaller objects might form before gravity pulls in enough material for a star. However, this theory runs into a significant problem, the opacity limit. As gas and dust collapse under gravity, the gravitational potential energy is converted into heat. For an object to continue growing, it must radiate this heat away. But as the object gets denser, it becomes more opaque, trapping heat and creating pressure that resists further collapse. This sets a lower size limit on what can form, generally no smaller than a brown dwarf. Anything less massive struggles to overcome this physical barrier. In other words, interstellar gas and dust tend to go big or go home. Without the gravitational pull of a nearby star or an exceptionally dense environment, smaller objects like jumbos shouldn't form at all. The discovery of binary jumbios challenges both of these formation theories. Neither planetary ejection nor direct formation fully explains their high frequency in the Orion Nebula. Moreover, the existence of triplet systems further complicates the picture. These findings suggest there are gaps in our understanding of planetary and stellar formation. The mechanisms governing these processes may be more complex and less well understood than previously thought. The Orion Nebula's jumbos are rewriting the rules of astrophysics, and scientists are racing to determine what this means for our broader understanding of the cosmos. Are these anomalies unique to the nebula, or could they exist elsewhere, hidden in the vastness of interstellar space? For now, the answers remain tantalizingly out of reach. This residual extra push allows hot gas to overcome its resistance to collapse. But once that barrier is crossed, the accumulated momentum is too great to stop at just forming a planet. Instead, you get a brown dwarf, something larger, or nothing at all. This is the crux of the opacity limit. It determines the lower mass threshold for objects forming in interstellar space. This leaves scientists searching for an additional factor that might explain how Jumbios, Jupiter mass binary objects, could emerge in defiance of these limits. A breakthrough in understanding this process could offer a more elegant solution. If something could counteract the opacity limit, planets might form naturally from interstellar matter. If two such objects formed near each other, their mutual gravitational pull could easily lead to stable orbits. No star required. This explanation sidesteps the improbabilities of earlier theories, like ejected rogue planets miraculously pairing up. In fact, it raises the possibility that smaller planets, even Earth-sized or tinier, could form and follow the same pattern, remaining undetected, hidden beyond the reach of even JWST's capabilities. But perhaps the answer lies in revisiting an older idea. Back in 2001, long before Jumbios were discovered, astrophysicist Alan P. Boss proposed a theory in the Astrophysical Journal. He suggested that magnetic fields could play a critical role in planet formation under certain conditions. According to his model, interstellar magnetic fields might expel a Jupiter-sized object from a collapsing cloud destined to form a brown dwarf or star. 
the smaller planet mass object would be left intact, while the remaining cloud continued collapsing into a larger celestial body. At the time, this idea was speculative, with no observational evidence to back it up. But it's fascinating that Boss's theoretical sizes match the Jumbios observed by JWST decades later. Perhaps Jumbios aren't as surprising as we first thought. Maybe magnetism is the missing piece of the puzzle. It's still too early to determine if magnetism is the key to solving the mystery of Jumbios. But it stands as one of the more intriguing possibilities. Understanding these enigmatic objects will require more than just speculation. It demands further observations, advanced simulations, and creative thinking to refine our current models of star and planet formation. One thing is certain. Jumbos pose a direct challenge to the established frameworks of astrophysics. Our current models simply can't explain how objects this massive can form in interstellar space without a star's influence or how they manage to bind together into binary systems. This gap in our understanding represents an exciting frontier for exploration. Future studies might involve leveraging telescopes even more advanced than JWST, or deploying instruments specifically tuned to detect faint, isolated objects like jumbos. Gravitational microlensing, for instance, could play a significant role in identifying smaller binary systems or uncovering more examples of jumbos in regions beyond Orion. High-resolution computer simulations of planetary formation could also help test theories like the role of magnetic fields or investigate other physical mechanisms that could produce these rogue binaries. At its core, the discovery of jumbos reminds us how much there is left to uncover about the universe. Every unexpected finding, every anomaly, forces scientists to re-evaluate long-held assumptions. In doing so, it pushes the boundaries of what we know and opens doors to new questions we never thought to ask. Jumbos are not just an oddity. They are a potential window into the earliest stages of planetary and stellar formation. If we can figure out how these objects form, we might also gain insights into processes that shaped our own solar system billions of years ago. Could jumbos represent an entirely new class of celestial objects? Could they be more common than we currently imagine, hidden in the vast reaches of space between stars? Their discovery also hints at a more chaotic and dynamic universe than previously envisioned. If planets and planet-like objects can form and thrive in conditions once thought impossible, what other surprises might the cosmos hold? Could there be entirely different processes at work in the formation of celestial bodies, or does this simply highlight the diversity of outcomes that arise from known processes acting under unexpected circumstances? So, what are jumbos? They are mysterious, massive objects defying convention. Jupiter-sized wanderers paired together in a gravitational dance through the dark expanse of interstellar space. No star anchors their orbits, yet they move together in an elegant balance, a testament to the strange and beautiful physics of the cosmos. More than just an astronomical curiosity, jumbos represent a key that might unlock deeper truths about how stars and planets come to be. They force us to confront the limitations of our current knowledge and invite us to imagine new possibilities. As we peer deeper into the universe, they stand as a reminder that science thrives on the unexpected and that the greatest discoveries often emerge from the questions we didn't even know to ask. Jumbos are a challenge, a mystery, and an opportunity, one that may ultimately reshape the way we understand the cosmos. And isn't that what makes the pursuit of knowledge so exhilarating? Humans have always been captivated by the unknown, and space represents the ultimate frontier. This obsession stems from several interconnected motivations, scientific curiosity, technological advancement, the desire to secure humanity's future, and the sheer wonder of exploring something so vast and mysterious. But the question remains, is the immense investment in space exploration justifiable? Why are humans obsessed with space exploration? Humans are driven by the need to understand the world and beyond. This curiosity has led to remarkable discoveries throughout history, from mapping the Earth to exploring the deep ocean. Space is the next step, a boundless expanse that challenges us to push the limits of our understanding. Space exploration is not just about curiosity, it's also about survival. Earth's resources are finite, 
and threats like climate change, overpopulation, and asteroid impacts make the idea of a backup plan compelling. Exploring space and potentially colonizing other planets could ensure the long-term survival of our species. Space exploration drives technological progress. Many everyday technologies, GPS, satellite communication, weather forecasting, medical imaging, are direct results of investments in space science. Solving the engineering challenges of space exploration often leads to breakthroughs that benefit life on Earth. Space exploration showcases a nation's technological prowess, fostering national pride and demonstrating global leadership. It's also an emerging sector for economic growth, with opportunities in industries like satellite technology, space tourism, and asteroid mining. Space missions are undoubtedly expensive, but the returns, both tangible and intangible, are substantial. Here's how the investment can be justified. Space exploration expands our knowledge of fundamental physics, chemistry, and biology. Missions like the James Webb Space Telescope help us understand the origins of the universe, while Mars rovers search for signs of life, addressing some of humanity's biggest questions. Space research has direct applications on Earth. Satellite technologies monitor climate change, help manage natural disasters, and support global communication networks. Innovations developed for space, such as water purification systems and solar energy technologies, improve lives globally. Investment in space stimulates economic growth by creating jobs, inspiring STEM education, and fostering industries. For example, NASA's budget is a fraction of the U.S. federal budget, but the technologies it has inspired have generated billions in economic activity. Space exploration inspires humanity, uniting people across cultures and generations with a shared sense of wonder. It shifts our perspective, reminding us of our small place in the cosmos and the fragility of our planet. Could the money be spent better elsewhere? Critics argue that the billions spent on space missions could address pressing issues like poverty, healthcare, or education. While this is a valid concern, the choice isn't binary. Governments and organizations can, and do, invest in both space exploration and social initiatives. In fact, many technologies developed for space missions, such as portable medical devices, have directly contributed to solving earthly problems. Moreover, the skills and knowledge gained from space exploration often find applications in other fields. For example, the challenges of growing food in space are helping improve agricultural techniques in arid regions on Earth. As we peer deeper into the cosmos, we're not only uncovering the mysteries of the universe, but also finding new ways to protect and improve life on Earth. If this video inspired you to think about our place in the universe or the value of exploration, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let us know in the comments, what do you think about the balance between space exploration and solving earthly challenges? Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep looking up. The answers might just be out there, waiting for us.